our budgets took a huge direct hit and you know, we need some relief. The Tanger Center, Greensboro Coliseum and some High Point Market showrooms all empty for the past year. You know, there were revenue shortfalls and expenditures that we didn't count on. Overtime for employees, PPE and other costs forced both cities to adjust. Our unreimbursed costs are somewhere around $13.5 million. Um, that's, you know, our annual uh, general fund budget's about $100 million. <laughs> so that tells you the type of costs we've had. There's all kinds of costs with uh, sanitation. We have to, uh, you think about all the city facilities that people go in and out of, plus our buses are running up and down the street. With budget conversations already underway for the next fiscal year, High Point and Greensboro leaders signed on to support the American Rescue Plan. They don't know how much money the plan would allocate. Mayor Nancy Vaughn says it would help support emergency and long-term housing and future growth. We also want to look at future growth and we want to be able to prop up small businesses, you know, the, who are really the backbone of our economy and we know that they have been suffering. The plan will ultimately go to Congress for a vote, but Mayor Wagner says running a city doesn't come down to politics. We're trying to look out for what's best for our communities, and it really doesn't matter what party is in, is in power in Washington. Uh, we want to do what's best for our people here.